another great interview segment from the Racing Insider Show. Let's go down to DTM, the German Touring Car Championship, made its debut in Moscow. A lot of anticipation for this, a lot of promotion before it started. It was one going away by the Audi team, Mike Rockefeller, the leader and the winner, followed by Matthias Ekstrom, his teammate. Let's hear from them. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to be on the podium. For sure, winning is the best, but today Mike won, and congratulations to him and the team. Uh, still, I have to say, it was probably the best uh, setup of my life I drove. The car was perfect from start to end, and uh, I could really enjoy every single lap. So, first trip to Moscow, I can only say it was a great, uh, a great event. Proud, you know, of my boys and Audi. Uh, we did a great job in preparation for this race. Car was perfect today, and uh, I feel really good to take those 25 points home from Russia. And uh, yeah, it was nice to be here. A lot of people, nice track. So overall, very positive. Yeah, that's a beautiful facility there in Moscow. They said it spent 130 million euro to build it, and uh, what a competitive field! At DTM, just impresses me how close the field is. You know, I think from first to fifteenth, where Joey qualified, it was Joey hand qualified. It was like four tenths of a second's the difference, but. Rockenfeller was the show this weekend. He just flat put it on him. He he was on the on the option tires, and they said that the option tires are last 30 laps, and he runs like 41 or 42 laps, and 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 right on a 59. I mean, he just flat put him on it. A little bit of team strategy there to to hold it up to get him the win. But man, what a what a performance by you know Rockenfeller just driving away in DTM Moscow. Um, I do want to say, you know, poor Joey Hand starts out 15th and ends up 7th. Obviously, he can race with those guys, but it uh, just looked like he had a little bit of trouble in qualifying. He, the splitter was banging the ground real hard, and I guess Jim had a chance to have a conversation with him about that. What do you got to say, Jim? Yeah, I just follow him on Twitter. I want to first say that I was really surprised not to see President Putin with no shirt on walking around in the pits. That seems to be his, his M.O. But anyway, uh, Joey had an interesting race. Uh, I don't I'm just watching him on Twitter and comes conversing back and forth. Seems like he's not able to hustle the car and qualify. And we noticed in those slow-mo shots that the splitter was hitting, but a lot of those guys' splitters were hitting. So I'm thinking if you just do the math on it and do a spreadsheet, this is the fourth race he's been in the points, got seventh place, moving up nicely if you will look at the previous season's results. Uh, I think if the kick had just hustled this car one time uh, in qualifying session to get a sixth, a fifth or so uh, uh, starting position, then we might be able to get the thing on the podium. What I had cautioned him on uh, when we was tweeting back and forth was just make sure it doesn't look like the BMW crash at Mid-Ohio a few years ago, which you could find on YouTube, and you'll be okay. The Racing Insiders on MAV-TV every Thursday at 2 and 5 o'clock Eastern and again on Saturdays at 1230 midday.